Well, this pandemic has silenced music venues across the nation, many of which are independently owned. We've already heard of quite a few venues going out of business. Now, Colorado Senator Michael Bennett has a proposal to help them. Political special Sean Boyd joins us live at the Boulder Theater with details on the senator's plan. Sean. Thank you, Karen. Live theater and concert venues like this don't just reopen to a full house when this is over, and a partial reopening isn't economically feasible. That's where the Restart Act comes in. It throws thousands of independent venues like Boulder Theater a lifeline. And some big names in the music industry came here today to give that bill a big boost. From opera house to concert venue, Boulder Theater has a long and storied history. For 100 years, through the Great Depression and two world wars, it's been a cultural icon. But COVID-19 could kill it. It's nothing like a screeching halt and shutdown. Cheryl Ligori with Z2 Entertainment, which also owns the Fox and Aggie Theater, says not only have they not made money for four months, they've had to refund money for concerts they've canceled. I'd say we're around 600 shows a year. David Weingarten, who books all the events, says recovery will take years and the federal PPP loans need to be paid back in 12 weeks and are only forgiven if they go to payroll. Or literally impossible for a company like ours or an industry like ours to have everybody back to work on June 30th when nothing is happening. Zero. That's why Senator Michael Bennett has introduced the Restart Act. It helps know, businesses hurt most by the pandemic, gives them flexibility in how they spend the money and seven years to pay it back. The Restart loan would do is provide companies with the working capital they need over the next six months to hang in there, to stay alive, to pay their mortgages, to pay their rent, to pay payroll and just get them to the other side of the end of the year. That's going to be a game changer. Without it, it's estimated 90 percent of small venues like this will close, which is why the Lumineers are lending their star power to pass the bill. Honestly, without places like this, the Lumineers don't exist. You know, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, all these Coldplay, these bands that we love and that impact people's lives in a meaningful way. That's what we're going to really need in 2021. As Cheryl Ligori told me, for now, Z2 Entertainment has no intention of closing any of its venues, but a lot is riding on Bennett's bill. And it does have bipartisan support, Colorado's Republican Senator Cory Gardner among the co-sponsors. They are hoping to pass the bill before Congress August recess, which is ambitious. If you'd like to help out independent venues like Boulder Theater, we'll have a link on CBSDenver.com. Live in Boulder, Sean Boyd covering Colorado First. Sean, thank you.